All right, my name is Ben Gibbs. I'm a systems engineer here on the security and privacy team. Uh, and this is about using political diplomacy to build your DevOps culture and why the two are very similar. Uh, so DevOps to me is very vague. Uh, there has never really been consensus about what a definition is. Uh, you get a lot of uh, competition here. People think it's just automation. Uh, and you don't really get a guide on how to change your internal culture. You just get future state. So this has been, I think, a, a pretty significant roadblock for a lot of organizations to be able to move to a DevOps culture because they think that it's, you know, I have a cloud. Uh, we're doing agile, whatever the hell that means. Uh, so it was never something that um, really added up. So I came up with a new model for this. And, uh, Going back on kind of the definitions, uh, I think that How to Win Friends and Influence People is a really core book on interpersonal relationships, which is a core foundation of DevOps culture. The other two can kind of come later. And we've talked about this a lot, that culture is people, DevOps is culture, and people have interests. And you have to kind of align those interests in order to build a DevOps culture in the first place. And that's where the idea of diplomacy comes into play. Kingdoms are a reality, whether we like it or not, and this could be you know, various groups, various interests within the organization. They have their own desires, they're diverse, and we need to open them up so that we can collaborate with them. Trade routes are DevOps, and trade routes are things like software artifacts, metrics, processes, all of the things that we need to do to interact with these other kingdoms. And kind of our job moving forward as a DevOps practitioner is to kind of open these up. Here's an example of some of them you may be familiar with, and there are millions of other ones, but these you know, are well known. And, and each one of these groups has different goals, um, and they're gonna be trying to do and accomplish different things, and we need to unify them into a common interest. So your job is to become this ambassador. You're gonna work through uh, mediating with these groups. You're gonna open dialogue with them. You're gonna understand their culture, and you're gonna understand what motivates them and the whys in the hows. So to begin, you have to start with a culture of ambassadors. Don't think about DevOps culture off the bat. If you don't have interpersonal relationships, uh, you're, you're never gonna be successful at this. Um, and you're gonna have to step outside of your comfort zone Maybe you're not a social person, but you're gonna have to become. You're gonna have to spread goodwill. Uh, that's, that's a key tenant of this. Um, and, and, and really aligning interests and removing barriers are the key takeaways. <clears throat> There's a lot of pent up uh, ownership in these kingdoms and we kind of have to break that down. Don't worry about doing your technology first um, because it, you're not gonna have success with it. If people are not on board with what you're trying to accomplish, you're gonna end up with a legacy environment that has, uh, you know, that's derelict, no one's using it. And some of the ways that we can approach this is to kind of understand what motivates these other kingdoms. And a key takeaway from how to win friends and influence people is appeal to their, their intentions. They wanna do good things. And if you can appeal to that, they're gonna wanna work with you. They like a challenge. Developers love being challenged technically. Um, and if you know, people are representing their kingdoms and they wanna, be, they wanna show that they can do a good job, right? They're gonna be prideful in that. And if you give them a challenge, they're gonna rise to it. Always praise them. Any, any improvements, small improvements, no matter what it is, uh, always congratulate and praise them on anything that they have done. Uh, this is a huge motivator, and saying their name and uh, next to something that they accomplished really motivates them. Mediation is very important with this. Uh, given all of these kingdoms that exist, you know, we have compliance requirements, we have technical requirements, uh, arguments are gonna arise from it. You have to make sure that dialogue is open between the parties involved. Don't coerce people, uh, don't use force whatsoever, right? We see how that works um, internationally. Uh, you, you get resentment from it. Um, people don't like to be condemned. And you're not gonna have a collaborative culture if you're pointing fingers and attacking people. And soft power is this idea of your influence that you project out from previous successes. So it's like your reputation preceding you. If people see that you have done a good job interacting with other kingdoms and breaking down barriers, they're gonna wanna emulate that success. And that it kind of ambassador culture becomes infectious. And save your technology for last. You can't solve social problems with technological processes. And if people are not on board with any of it, it's not gonna be successful one way or the other. So hopefully DevOps isn't really so vague now since we understand that it's about people and people have interest and there are kingdoms and we need to know how to interact with those kingdoms. 
build our trade routes, and uh, you know, the spice must flow. I think that's the most important thing. Thank you.